My name is Daniel DiCapua. I'm a physician here at Yale University, and today we will be discussing the epidural, subdural hematoma, and types of brain herniation. An epidural hematoma is a collection of blood that accumulates between the dura mater and the skull. It typically originates from damage to the meningeal arteries and is most frequently associated with trauma. On a head CT, it is a biconvex lens shaped and it will not cross the suture lines due to the tight attachment of the dura at this point. Clinically, it is often characterized by a lucid interval after head trauma followed by an alteration or loss of consciousness as it displaces the underlying brain tissue. Prompt diagnosis and neurosurgical intervention is often necessary to avoid herniation and death. The subdural hematoma is a collection of blood that accumulates between the brain and the dura mater. They typically originate from damage to the meningeal veins, specifically the bridging veins. Often on head CT, these are crescent shaped and they may cross the suture lines. Subdural hematomas are often associated with trauma as well in the acute setting. Clinically, they may manifest by gradually worsening headache and confusion. They may also increase intracranial pressure and may prompt neurosurgical intervention to avoid damage to the underlying brain. Chronic subdural hematomas are more commonly observed in the elderly and can often be managed without neurosurgical intervention. An important point is that epidural hematomas are arterial in origin and that subdural hematomas are venous in origin. Herniation is a potentially deadly consequence of increased intracranial pressure, and it can be divided into supratentorial and infratentorial types of herniation. Supratentorial herniation can be divided into several types as well. The first is called cingulate or subfalcine herniation. This is where pressure will push the cingulate gyrus under the falc cerebri. Central or transtentorial herniation is when the brain is pushed downward past the tentorium cerebelli. Uncle herniation is herniation that occurs when the medial temporal lobe moves towards the tentorium and often compresses the midbrain. Transcalvarial herniation will only occur when there is a defect in the skull and the brain is pushed through this defect. Infratentorial herniation occurs when the cerebellum is pushed either downwards or upwards. Cerebellar transtentorial herniation is when the cerebellum is pushed upwards past the tentorium. Tonsillar herniation, also called transforaminal herniation, is when the cerebellar tonsils are pushed downward through the foramen magnum. 